Hello everyone. So this is KM Details about Reclaim Beam Install. A lot of beams that people will use in the industry are faux or they are non-supporting. They do not support structural walls uh, being removed or structural load bearing. In this particular video, we're showing you how reclaimed beams can be load bearing. What you're seeing here behind me is a series of a post and lentil type of installation of reclaimed oak beams. Very, very rustic, but what's important about this one is, is that they truly are load bearing. And so if you see the beam that, that I'm talking about here, sitting on true supports, we have, to, we have to make sure that the supports at the bottom are also supported underneath because these are carrying very large loads. Just the beam itself, is over 900 pounds in weight. It took over at least six men to install it. We had six to eight men on site when we installed something like this. And of course, both sides are weight bearing, load bearing. These posts are recessed, as you can see here. They, were, they are going to be recessed into the wall so they take up less space. So the framing has to be cut back for that. The same is true on, on all sides. We want to recess it into the wall. You have pockets for the for the framing so that it doesn't stick out so much unless you just want to show the full beam like we do here but that is up to you however much you want to show exposed one thing you don't want to do probably is put a bunch of attachments to a beautiful beam like this these are not inexpensive but they add so much to the beauty of a room i can't wait to show you what this looks like when it's all finished but in the meantime there is a lot of work putting one, one of these large beams in. This span is over 20 something feet, about 22 feet for the span in this room. And so that means we have to have shoring on both sides of this before we pull down the original load bearing wall. So we have to shore up both of these properly, make sure that it is carrying the weight, and then we pull down the weight bearing wall, the load bearing wall, and then we install this. And that has to be woven into the shoring so that you can get it up there. And you have multiple men and lifts that are lifting this in there. Then you pull down your temporary walls or your shoring. And that is, that's a lot of work. But when you're done, you get these results. So that's just a little bit of detail on load bearing beams. Of course, these have to be engineered and how much you notch them out, like you see right here, these notches can affect the strength of these beams. So you don't just put them up and think they can carry unlimited amounts of weight. You definitely want to make sure that your engineering is, is in place so that you know what you can get with buy with. But I think you'll, you'll enjoy doing this if you get the opportunity to do it on one of your projects. I know that it'll reap rewards for, for decades to come. We're looking forward to this one and the, the happiness this brings to these clients. It is going to be one of the earmarks of this particular remodel. It's going to be one of the most exciting parts of the finish out in this project. But you gotta know what you're getting into when you're doing reclaimed beams that are structural. Hope you enjoyed it.